YouTube, welcome back. Another video. This time I wanted to share with you guys the latest release that we have for the All Pro Football 2K8 roster editor for the PC. Uh, one thing that some people um, some people get confused where to get the latest roster editor version. So all you need to do is go to simheads.com. You need to log in. And once you log in, you'll see the resources tab. On the resources tab, you'll see all of the different resources that I have available. And in this case, we're looking at the All Pro Football 2K8 roster editor. There's a small donation fee. If you want to have access to this editor and any new updates that are made so keep that in mind but if you have donated you'll see the download now button if you click on this download now button you will get the latest version which as of today is 1.7.1.0 and if you want to take a closer look at what's in each update if you go to the updates tab you'll see every single update in detail and it shares with you the different features that have been added to the game or to the roster editor and so on this one, 1.7.1, we went ahead and added the ability to, or I added the ability to automatically set generic player faces to legend faces based on skin color. So it's a click of the button. You go to the menu, click on these options here, whether you want to do all of the teams or just the team that you're currently viewing. And then it will automatically update the... Um, the faces to the right faces. So I'm going to show you guys a demo. Let's take a look at that and I will show you what that looks like. So in the game, as you can see here, there is, this is a generic player, right? This is a player that is a tan color. If you look at his face, it's got that generic looking face and they're all over the place here. So if we zoom out to, let's look at this guy, any, any non, there's another one there. Any non-legend uh, player is going to have a generic face. Okay? So if we look at this guy here, another generic face. Okay? And let's move over to the, even this one right here, which I think we just saw a second ago. You know, he's got a generic face as well. And that's last name, head. And you can tell he's not a legend because there's no star, right? So all of these generics have those generic faces that I personally can't stand, right? So what we want to do is we want to look at back in the editor, how to set that up and automatically change these faces. So if we go down, this is the gorillas. This is a team that I made for a league that I'm playing in, or at least an offline season that I'm playing. And if you go down, let's look for the one of the guys we were looking at. So AJ Head, right? So AJ Head is skin color, light medium, all right? And right now he has a generic, a generic face, right? So if you wanted to change his face to a legend, uh, basically what you have to do is go to Face Picker and let's see what that says. Right, so I have this in the game too, just to give you a heads up. If you want to change the player's face to a legend face, then you're going to select the legend, basically, that's on your team, right? So what happens is, let me just make sure everybody understands what happens is when you, if you go in here and you select any legend from here, if the legend is not on your team, so you have your legends here, if this face is not on your team, then even though you selected him, you won't see the face. Matter of fact, I think you're going to see the elephant face, which is the weird distorted face with the big head, if you don't have the player set with a player on your team. Or it won't work at all. So what you have to do is you have to actually go in here, find a player on your team, like my, my Legends Only. I added this in here to help you. And you can actually select from a list of the ones you have on your team to, you know, to choose from to say... You know, this guy, I want this guy to look like, you know, Pete Metzelars, right? And the only way it will work is if you have a player from your team. So you have to sit here and pick this guy. Then you hit OK. And then you go to the next person, click the next guy, hit OK. And what, what I typically do is select the right 
player face based on the skin color, right? So if I'm, if I have a guy that's light medium, I go here and I select a light medium dude. Okay. Um, I don't even think you can see it this way. I don't think you can see what they are. So I think what actually, no, what I, this is what I do actually. So the way I had it set is if I pick a Koye, see, it's going to change his skin color to the skin color of the face that you pick. So I added that in a while back. So it automatically will select the skin color of the player that you pick, right? Let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go back in and but what I want to do is I want to keep, keep my guy's skin color as light medium if I can, right? So what happens is you have to go through here one by one, select your face, go back, go to the next generic player, select your face. Typically what I do when I create my roster is I actually create it based on the legends first. So I pick all the legends that I want to create for the team. And then from there, I start creating the generics and I pick the best face closest um, resembling the face of the generic that I'm making. And it doesn't always match up perfectly, but I'd rather see a legend face than see a generic face nine, 10 out of 10 times. So go into the update. So the update, what we have here is you can go to tools, go to auto update, and you can actually select one of these two options. These will select every single generic player and switch their face to a legend face based on the skin color. And what it actually does is pretty cool. It actually rotates through and selects the next uh, player's face based on the skin color, right? So if you have five legends that are light, medium skin color, it's going to go through generic one, pick the first legend. Then it'll go generic two, pick the second legend. So it kind of goes through and rotates so you have a evenly distributed list of legend faces that spread across your generic players, right? So you're not going to get the same legend face every time unless it's the only skin color player and then, then you're stuck. So what I did was add this in so that you can quickly select this button for your team or for all the teams if you collect this high, high one here. So we're going to do just our team here. It says select or set all generic players on gorillas to legend faces per skin color. Yes. And as you can see now, 31 out of 42, because we have 11 players that are legends. So 31 generics got updated. And now if we go over to Mr. Head, he is now set to Ismail Rahib. And he's set to Ismail Rahib because he doesn't have... We don't have a light medium guy here. We only have Pete Metzlars, who's light, Jeff Jagers, who's light, and Stabler, who's lightest. So, you know, you're going to get a random pick, but for the ones that did get the right color, they're going to get the right um, skin color tied to their face. Okay. So now if we go ahead and save this, and then we push this over to the um, the Xbox, what I want to do next is show you exactly how that looks and the game, and then that will conclude this, uh, this video here. So we went ahead and saved it and now I'm going to push it over to my, to my system here. So let's go ahead and close this out, close that out. The roster is here. And we're going to go ahead and dump it over. And then now I want to go ahead and show you the, the roster in play so you guys can see it in action. And then we'll go from there. All right. So loading up the system. So this is really good if you guys are trying to make rosters and you don't want to take the time to sit there and pick a face. It's always a, it's always a bit of a hassle to find the right face per skin color especially if you're making a fictional roster where you really don't care what the skin color is. You just want the guys to show the real faces and not the generic faces, which is why I really did this for me. When I'm making a regular roster, I actually go through, you know, an NFL roster. I go through and I meticulously pick each one. But for these fictional ones, I really don't have a preference whether or not they show up in the, uh, in the game. So we're going to go ahead and do practice mode. And let's just do full scrimmage or let's just do offense only, gorillas. 
And then let's look at that player and then we'll show you now that they're all, they all have the right faces. So let's check this out. All right, let's replay that. Now if we go down here and look, see, he's got Pete Metzler's face. He's got Pete Metzler's face. He has somebody else's face. I think that's Okoye, Pete Metzler's, and someone else's face. But you can tell, the reason why I like, the reason why I like the legend faces is because they have, they're much more defined. They look a lot cleaner. They look a lot more detailed. And you never see, like sometimes you see a colored player, a black guy with a white guy's face and it just looks absolutely ridiculous. So that's pretty much it guys for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was pretty simple, but I wanna make sure you guys know how to get to the editor. And I'll be putting random updates out here and there. If you guys have any ideas on what you want to do to improve tools like this that can help you uh, build a roster faster or ways that can you know speed up your, your process, then shoot me an email, shoot me a, a DM on Twitter, throw me a comment in the link and below, and, um, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.